So now that we've got our results, we're ready to make some recommendations. Now we get to answer the question of what we should do. Um, and so we're going to consult our findings and we're going to look at the projections for each policy and see which one performs the best. Uh, so to go back to that uh, bus fleet fuel usage example, I showed you this table and we can see that uh, policy A performs positively across all three measures. Policy B has mixed results and the, the null, right? No policy change also has mixed results. Um, if I were to just average these, um, I would see that policy A performs the best, right? It performs positively across all three categories. Therefore, right, that's going to be the policy that I recommend. Um, it's somewhat effective, uh, but it requires almost no investment. Um, and it's projected to be the most administratively feasible option. Policy B could be more effective, uh, but it's going to require investment and it's going to be projected to have low compliance. Um, and then, of course, no policy change is the least effective of those three options. Um, and yeah, it's cheap and it's really easy to do, but it's completely ineffective. Therefore, we're not going to recommend it. And so all that said, we're ready to recommend a policy. And the policy we're going to recommend is requiring drivers to shut off the bus if they're expecting to wait for more than one minute to eliminate idling and eliminate the unnecessary use of fuel. And like I promised, this step is pretty straightforward because you've done most of the work already in laying out your analysis.